Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of my sandbox park. In today's episode we're going to be finishing up some details on the roads and we're going to be building the parking lots which I am super excited about. I have never actually built a parking lot in this game. So this is my first and I am in love with the way it came out. Um, and we're also going to add a monorail at the very end of the episode um, but we're not going to do any real work with it. So here you see we're just adding some detail to the roads and I think after we add these details it makes it look so much better. I am in love with the way this park is turning out. I haven't figured out a name for this park, I'm just calling it my sandbox park. Um, I just kind of go with Planet Coaster um, until I think of a different name. That's just kind of what we're going to go with. It's, you know, it's simple and there's plenty of signs and stuff in the game already that have Planet Coaster on it. So I just went ahead and went with that. I usually always, in my games, name my parks after my cat Emmy. So I have, you know, Emmy's Fun Park, Emmy Land, Emmy's Beach Adventure, Emmy Gardens, like everything is Emmy's, my cats. Um, but I couldn't think of a new one using her name. So I've just been kind of waiting until I do figure something out, but I just kind of went with Planet Coaster. And you'll see we're going to add, um, right on the other side of this road here towards the park, um, we're going to build a little bit of a mound and we're going to add some flowers to it uh, that say Planet Coaster and I love the way it came out. I think it's really nice when you first drive in from the tunnel that's all you see is, is Planet Coaster. Um, but if you have any suggestions for you know this park um, for names then I guess you know put them in the comment section and I'll check it out. Um, I really want to try and incorporate Emmy's name but <laughs> I can't think of anything. I'm actually using the new marquee lights right here you can see to put the words on the ground. It saved so much time doing it this way. Um, the only thing I didn't like is that they, you know, they were outlines. Um, you see here, they don't aren't full, you know, like they would be. Still contemplating on whether or not I want to fill them in with some art pieces, but I think right now they, they do what they need to do and they look, you know, nice and uniform, so I just went ahead with that. Um, I think it's a really cool way to use those new marquee lights. Um, here adding a speed limit sign, just a lot of little details, you know, to really make it look, you know, real. <laughs> you know, a realistic park. <laughs> so, um, I think it does, it comes out really amazing. There's actually one view of the parking lot I love, and it's from, I guess, right here where I'm building. If you look out into the parking lot where it'll be, you get the sign that says, you know, parking this way. And there's some trees and some plants, and you can see the cars in the background. It looks amazing. Here, I'm actually struggling with deciding if I want to use the terrain paint or if I want to use pads. Um, because they, they used, I don't know if you guys remember when the, the these new terrain paints came out with the studio pack, I believe. They matched the pads perfectly, but then they changed them. And they're slightly darker, so you see here, I was like, this maybe, but it's just, mm, I didn't like the line. But they changed it, now it's a darker color and the, the, the light one is too light. Um, so I just went ahead and did this. I went with the path, um, and I sprayed a little bit. If you use both of the terrains and you kind of blend them together, it matches pretty good. So that's what I had what, what I had with and did. And see here, <laughs> I actually spent like a whole bunch of time trying to turn these uh, uh, these lines in the road, but I ended up getting rid of them. Just I didn't like the the little the curve it had. Most parking lots, after you get into them, the the lines kind of stop, and you just kind of follow the rows. I guess maybe they're one way or whatever. Um, but yeah, here we go. Actually, building some of the uh, a parking lot. I'm gonna kind of just copy and paste it all the way through. And we're gonna add a bit of a planter in the middle. Um, I don't fill it with cars, but I do add quite a bit just to make it look like you know it's a bit full. Um, but oh yeah, here there's a jump in the video. I didn't want to sit there and copy paste everything. But I went ahead and put the planters. We're gonna add some small plants. I can't remember if I add trees. I think I do. Well, I guess we'll find out, right? Yep, well, here you go. I'm probably gonna spend an hour trying to pick a tree. Oh yeah, yeah, because I put down the tree, delete them, put down other trees, delete them. I don't know, I just I struggled with picking a tree because I love the cypress trees that they have at the end of the list, the really tall pointy ones. These, kind of, these are kind of the cypress, I guess. But, I don't know, they're just either too tall, like they look way too much, or they just don't really, I don't know, 
they're not tall enough, like the stem at the bottom is too bushy with trees, so I actually think this is what we go with. Yes, this is the tree we go with. This is actually from the pirate, I believe, and I've never actually used this tree um, anywhere else uh, because of the pink. Uh, you can't change it, but we have the color, the pink and the purple in our park, so I thought it was perfect. And then we're just going to copy and paste it onto the other side. I actually struggled a little bit more with the path on this side. I don't know why it was being weird. But I actually think I have that stop sign on the wrong side of the road, don't I? Yeah, it is on the wrong side. I think we'll fix that. Hopefully, we'll fix that. If not, then I'll have to go back in and fix it. Here's where we build the parking sign. Just park parking lot A and parking lot B. Nothing fancy. Um, but I think the way it ends up looking, you know, with the sign and then I'm gonna put exit or park exit on the other side and it'll have some trees and rocks around it. It just looks really nice. Um, like I said in, in the last episode, uh, I'm trying not to pull inspiration from any parks. I just want to try and build something in, from my own head. But Bush Gardens Williamsburg is a park I've been going to my entire life. I, you know, I have a season pass there. We go almost three to two to three times a year. So, I mean... I'm probably going to initially pull a lot of inspiration from that park, but just because that's one of the few parks I've ever only ever been to. And this part right here looks exactly like something from that park. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but every time I, I get down to uh, guest view and look at it, that's what it reminds me of. But yeah. I've also been to um, Six Flags, I believe it's in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, up there somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it is. I went there, um, we went to ride the King Ka, um, but when we got there it was closed, so that sucked. Um, but I've also been to Carowinds, um, a park in North and South Carolina. The park is split in half. Um, I've been there before, I didn't really like it. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of amusement parks, but I do love theme parks. I've noticed there's a huge difference in them. Um, and I've also been to, uh, Disney World, I think, the one in California. Um, but I was really young, and what I remember is just from what I've watched from my family, my, my family movies or whatever. Um, and then I've also been to SeaWorld in California, but we'll not talk about that. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> that was my parents doing, not mine. <laughs> um, but the parks that I have the most experience with is Busch Gardens. Um, I've done, I've been there quite a lot, done a lot of different tours, inside tours, to, you know, animal tours, all that stuff. So a lot of the inspiration, I guess, in my head is still being pulled from that park, just that's, uh, I know, I can't help it, I guess. <laughs> um, so, like, I guess that's why I, I kind of like the flowers in the park. Um, Bush Gardens was, um, for Bush Brewery, brewery, that's a tough word to say, um, they built a gardens next to their, uh, uh, or factory, and that's where people used to go and try their new beers and walk around and look at flowers, and then they added a train tr transport system, and then they slowly started adding some more rides and more rides more rides and eventually some coasters and now they are where they are. Oh yeah, I did. I flipped that, that uh, stop at some point. Yeah, here's where I delete that. Yeah, I just like this looks stupid. So Bush Gardens, it has, it's heavily themed because, you know, it was, uh, you know, a gardens before it was a uh, an amusement or a theme park there. If, if you ever ask any of the employees, they'll let you know that it's a theme park and it's not an amusement park. They've uh, avoided expanding because they don't want to be considered an amusement park. Yes, we're about halfway through now and we finished with the car parking lot. We're going to work on some other details. Um, we're going to add this grate because uh, after looking at it, I realized that it kind of looks silly just being posted onto the... Uh, um, the cement there and I went and found some exit signs. I don't know where this is or what it's from but it was just the one road heading out which is what we have so I went ahead and used it. <laughs> um, added some more cars driving around. Now you can see it's really starting to come to life out here. Um, oh yes, I wanted to try and add this car ride from the, uh, the studios pack because I've seen people do it and use it as a transport ride. But I put the paths in first, and they it won't sit on the paths, so I couldn't get it 
to go and I was not about to rip everything out. Maybe, you know, if I decide I need to do it in the future, I will, but as of right now, I just, I just went without it. Um, here we're adding some gates, you know, so people can't jump into the park. Um, or animals won't run into the roads. Here we start adding a lot of trees. And this is when it starts to really take form. Um, I think it's in the next episode. Because um, when I was building, I was like, oh my goodness, I could totally put a picture in there. And it'll look great. So after I was building, I went online and looked at it. And the next episode, we'll add it. And you'll see, it just really pulls it all together. And I think here we're going to start the mound. Yes, okay, so this mound we're gonna build, um, and I just used, there's a sign in the game for Planet Coaster, and I just sunk it into the ground, you'll see. And we're just gonna use some flowers, the new tulips that come with the game, and we did it, um, I think it's just white and blue. We'll see when they, we do it, I'm building a wall, I guess, so people don't climb in. Um, but then when we build the rest of the entrance area, it'll just wrap around the back of it, and we'll have the ticket booths, the monorail station. Something really cool that I, I added, um, there's a park in uh, England, um, I can't actually remember what the name of that park is, but they had the first corkscrew coaster, um, and so what I did, what they have in their park is when they took, or I think it's called, is it Tilted Towers, is that what it is? Um, I can't remember. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll, I'll, I'll have to re remind myself to tell you guys. But they have they have the first cork corkscrew um, coaster, uh, and when they, they took it down, because you know after it uh it um I guess you know was was done whatever is getting too old. They took it down, but they kept the original corkscrew, um, and they left it at the beginning of the park so people can still see it. Um, and it's actually really cool. I've looked at pictures and um, and stuff, and so I went ahead and did something similar to that. Um, I built a corkscrew. <laughs> I wanted to do a loop, but it didn't work. Um, but that'll be in the next episode. We'll talk about that when we get there, and I'll have to look up the name of that park. But here you can see I just sunk this planet coaster sign down and put the tulips in it. Yeah, I think we just go with, what is it, blue? Blue and pink, yes. And then we just put it on this hill here. I actually really like the way this looks. Um, but I, I really want to try and pick a name that has to do with Emmy, just because it's a theme that I have in my parks. Um, you know, maybe Planet Emmy or Emmy Coaster Land, or I don't know. I can't think. Uh, something, nothing that sounds too tacky, you know. But incorporating her name, I'll figure it out. And if we do decide to change it from Planet Coaster, that's what we'll pick, and I'll have to change this. But just adding some lighting so that we can see it at night. Um, yeah. Just add some, changing up some of the grass here. I think I add some trees and stuff. Oh no, I'm gonna add some paths. I don't know why I add these. I delete them immediately in the next episode. But oh no, we are adding the trees. Okay, yes. I just want to add some shrubbery and uh, some rocks and stuff. Just kind of, you know, go with that garden theme that we're doing. And then here I'm adding the path. Like once, once again, I don't know why. I'm gonna delete it anyway, but. Just kind of want to get the feel of what was going to, you know, how it was going to look and where things were going to go. Don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, no, I think I'm going to be adding, yeah, okay, yeah, so I'm adding the, um, uh, monorail station. This is actually the path that we do keep it. Um, yeah, the monorail station is going to go right in the middle here. Um, yeah. And the monorail will drive right over the ticket booths. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking for here. I guess I was trying to see guests coming in and out of the park. Um, the tickets, like to scan your tickets and come in, will be right underneath these where these two paths, uh, these two tracks go out. So it looks really cool when the monorail comes in and out. Um, but just adding this and just kind of finishing it off so you know people can come in into the park and, and use it. But uh, as the park grows, we'll move it and or redo the track so it can go all the way to the different areas of the park. I'm just going to add some path. <laughs> I'm kind of struggling here, I guess. It's, it's such a struggle um, using the grid system and then not using the grid system together in the same, I guess, uh, path formation. It's just kind of a struggle. I don't know why. Uh, you can see me here struggling just a little bit. Uh, when we build the uh, the building that goes around it, we end up changing the paths on the inside because it's it was it ended up being way too much, I guess. Uh, 
But yeah, here the video is ending. We're just gonna look at some more glamour shots. This is the shot I was telling you about that I absolutely love. Um, but if you like this episode, go ahead and give a like, um, and go ahead and subscribe if you want to get more videos. There's plenty coming out, and a lot more of this park to build. Uh, but thank you, and have a wonderful day.